This is the analytics backend of one of the sites that I use. Uh, I've been managing this site for about six months and have been implementing a strategy with Pin Generator, pinning about 20 pins per day. And you can see I've got some good growth here. Uh, I've got 424,000 impressions. So this is how many people are seeing my pins. And this is over the 90 day date range. So if you want to see a, sh a shorter date range, like 30 days or so, you can change it to that. And you can see I've got 186,000 people that have viewed my pins in the last 30 days, which is a good increase of 40%. My engagements are up 13%, total audience up 18% for a total of 57,000 57, odd. And yeah, so we can see that there's some good growth here. So I'm going to go back to, to 90 days. Um, and now this is for impressions. So this is basically your pin coming up when someone is on Pinterest, they run a search or perhaps it's on their dashboard and not, or on their homepage. And so this is a good, good to see how Pinterest is delivering your uh, pins. What is a very important metric for me is outbound clicks. So I want people going to my website, to my store, and I want to know how many people are clicking. So you can track that with the clicks. So you can see that I'm getting about 49 clicks to my store per day from Pinterest so far, and this is growing nicely. And yeah, that's how many people, how much traffic per day is being sent to my website. So another good thing to look at is engagement rate. So this is like a way to see how viral your pins are or how engaging they are. So you can see uh, my pins are pretty engaging, 3.12% here. Um, I think anything, but three to, yeah, like two to 4% is quite normal for an engagement rate. Um, higher than that, you've got some really good pins. If you're getting like a 10% engagement rate, that's really, really good. Also the outbound click rate, um, I know with Google Search Console for SEO, if you're getting an outbound click rate of, you know, 2%, that's quite high. So my outbound click rate is quite low at the moment here, but this is for Pinterest, so it's a different platform. Um, but I've changed my strategy a bit and I'm hoping to increase that. Um, so for me, outbound clicks is the most important and that basically is my goal. So that's how I check that there. You can also drill down to your stats. Let's say I only want to see people 25 to 34 and I want to see their stats on my, on my site. So you can see it's a bit more, it's a bit more sparse and let's say female only let's go all so you can see there's plenty of female pinterest users male pinterest users not so much yeah so and i think it's like 80 percent of pinterest users are female um and then also this is quite interesting the data source here is you can look at your pins you can look at uh the stats from the pins you've created and how many impressions and outbound clicks and you're getting and then from other pins so this is other people pinning your pins and doing repins and whatnot so i haven't got much of those stats but this is uh basically this the traffic that other people have created for you so yeah that's how i make sense of all my pins oh and if you want to check different pins by pin type up here you can go to standard pins product pins idea pins or video pins cool